All right, here is another example of a derivative, partial derivative, multiple partial derivatives. Okay, so this one has three variables in it. So golly, this is going to be a lot of derivatives. So I'm going to do w sub x, w sub y, then w sub z. And <laughs> I'm a crooked writer here. And then I'm going to have to do w sub xx, w sub xy, w sub xz. Okay. All right. So let's start with w sub x. So I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. Everything else is constant. So this is going to be 6xy plus 2z. That's a constant because there's no x's in it. That has just one x in it. Everything else is a constant, x to the first power. So this should be 2y squared z. Now if I do w sub xx, here um, I take the derivative of this with respect to x, which is 6y. Nothing else has an x in it. So it's just 6y. w sub xy gives me, let's see, that has a y in it, so that'll be 6x. No y here, a y squared here, so that should be 4yz. And then w sub xz. Um, okay, so take a derivative with respect to z. So there's no z, that's 0. That'll be 2, there's a z here, those are constants, plus 2y squared. All right, so this one's not too bad because it's just polynomial, but you still have to focus. So w sub y, derivative with respect to y. So there's a y here, those are constants. So 3x squared. There's no y here, there's a y here. So I might have had a sign error here. Let's see if I can find it. Um, no, there isn't because there's no x there initially. Okay, so here, let's see, 3x squared, there is no y here, so that's gone. There's a y here, so that should be minus z. And there's y squared, so this should be plus 4yxz. Okay, so now once I have that, I'm going to come down here and do w sub yx which should give me, let's see, 6x and then plus 4yz. Notice those are the same. And then w sub yy. No y, no y. Um, this should be 4xz. And then w sub yz. Gives me, let's see, no z, there's a z. And this should be 4yx. Now I don't have a yz to compare up here, so I don't know. We're just going to leave it like that. All right, last but not least, let's do w sub z. So I've got to kind of go back and forth here. There's no z here, that should be 2x. And then here I should have a negative y. And here um, I should have a 2y squared x. All right, this is our next problem here. So just kind of ignore that. Maybe I can just put something to cover it. There we go. All right, so let's then think uh, w sub zz. No z, no z, no z, so that's 0. w sub z, y. Uh, no z, no y. There's one y, minus 1, and then i got to bring that down, plus 4y, x. And notice how those match. And then I need w, z, x. And there is a 2 there, so it would be 2. Remember, I'm taking the derivative with respect to x now of this guy. 
So that's going to be 2y squared. Now if I want to check that, so right here, 2 plus 2y squared, 2 plus 2y squared. So it looks like we did that one pretty good. On to the next.